Hi, my name is Janet Medina and today I will present the glucose molecule. Okay, the glucose is a source of energy for the body. Mm -hmm. It's considered a carbohydrate. Also, it's a monosaccharide. It means it only has one molecule of sugar. Usually glucose is found in a lot of foods. It can be found alone or combined. Alone is difficult to find it but uh, I found this product on the store that it has dextrose that is a way that we know glucose as a dextrose um, also a grape sugar we know glucose as a grape sugar glucose can be found as a disaccharide disaccharide um, it can be found with other glucose and it forms maltose it can be found with fructose that is the sugar of the fruits fruit fruits and um, it forms sucrose and it can be found as glucose plus other sugar that is galactose to form lactose. Lactose is the sugar of the milk. Many people uh, is intolerant to this kind of sugar. Well, for our formula for glucose is six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. The glucose has different bonds. It has bonds between carbon and hydrogen that is a, a strong covalent mm -hmm. it has bonds between carbon and oxygen that is covalent and polar why because the oxygen has a higher electronegativity so the electrons are pulled out by the oxygen mostly but it's also covalent and we have also the bonds between oxygen and hydrogen that is a weakly covalent but also polar okay so first of all we have carbon and we need six moles of Carbon. This is our Lewis structure. It's represented by carbon that is in red and carbon has four valence electrons. We have one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. This is a three-dimensional uh, configuration of carbon. It has all four valence electrons. And it makes a, an angle of bond of 109.5. Then we need also our hydrogen, 12 moles. So this is the configuration of the hydrogen. Hydrogen has only one valence electron that is represented with this white dot. And this is the 3D configuration. It makes a bone of uh, 180 degrees. Also, we will need six oxygens. So for our oxygens, the oxygen has six valence electrons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the Lewis configuration. And 
this is a three-dimensional configuration. It also has a an bonding angle of 109.5 degrees if it's bonding between oxygen and oxygen, or it can be 120 degrees if, it's, if it is bonding with other elements. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons of oxygen. So we need carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. So we will represent, the glucose has a linear configuration, but also has a ring configuration that has six carbons, and because it has six carbons, it is also called an exos. Today, I will, we will talk about the ring configuration. We have our first carbon, that it ha has a bond to the hydrogen. Remember that this bond is uh, strongly covalent. Also, this first carbon has a bond with carbon, the carbon has a bond with oxygen and the oxygen has a bond with hydrogen and this carbon has a bond with other hydrogen and hydrogen. Okay, so it is the first bond, it is hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen with an hydroxyl group our carbon has a hydrogen okay so this is our first so between carbon and hydrogen we have a covalent strongly covalent with between carbon and oxygen we have a covalent polar and we have here two pair of electrons that they are not bonding so one, two, and also we have three moles of oxygen. So represented 3D, we have it here. This is a well mole of glucose. So we have one carbon, two carbons. This is our first carbon. So we have one, two, three, and four, um, electrons and this is bond with our hydrogen in this part so we have our hydrogen our uh, bonding with other carbon so we have one two three four electrons bonding with an hydrogen and you can see the hydrogen has one two three four two pairs of electrons that they are not bonding with nothing but we have one electron that is bonding with that hydrogen. So this is the electron of the hydrogen and this is the electron of the oxygen bonding with the carbon. And this carbon at the same time has two bonds with hydrogen. So hydrogen and carbon are strongly covalent. So, mm -hmm. Then we have our second carbon. Most of the carbons, they are going